Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to explore correlational research in psychology. You might have read news headlines like more cardio will cause you to lose weight faster or more sleep will cause you to perform better at work. These statements could be true. However, we need evidence from a properly completed study to factually state that there is a causal relationship between the two variables. Just because two things are correlated doesn't mean that one causes the other. People sometimes naively state that a change in one variable causes a change in another variable. There may be a relationship between the two variables, but correlation does not imply causation. A correlational study looks for variables that seem to have a relationship with each other. When you see one variable changing, you have a fair idea of how the other variable will change. A variable is something that can be changed or varied, such as a characteristic or a value. It includes quantity or quality that varies across people or situations, such as age or self-esteem. All of us have these, but at varying degrees. Correlation helps to establish the relationship between two variables. For example, you may be interested in knowing whether the amount of study time is related to students' academic achievement. This question is different from one that the experimental method seeks to understand because here you do not manipulate the amount of study time and examine its impact on achievement. Rather, you simply find out the relationship between the two variables to determine whether they are associated or not. This relationship between two variables is represented by a statistical measure known as correlation coefficient. This index measures the strength of a correlation. Represented by Pearson's R, its value can range from positive 1.0 to negative 1.0, each of which means a perfect correlation. An R of 0 means that no correlation exists between the two variables. A correlation of 0.89 will be considered very high, while 0.25 will be considered a low correlation. The coefficient of correlation is of three types, positive, negative, and zero. A positive correlation indicates that as the value of one variable increases, the value of the other variable will also increase. Similarly, when one variable decreases, a decrease in the other variable also takes place. Let's say it is found that the more time students spend on studying, the higher was their achievement score. Also, the less they studied, the lower was their achievement score. This type of association will be indicated by a positive number. And the stronger the association between studying and achievement, the closer the number would be to positive 1.0. You may find a correlation of positive 0.85, indicating a strong positive association between study time and achievement. On the other hand, a negative correlation tells us that as the value of one variable increases, the value of the other variable decreases. For example, you may hypothesize that as the hours of study time increase, the number of hours spent in other activities will decrease. Here you are expecting a negative correlation ranging from 0 to negative 1.0. It is also possible that sometimes no correlation may exist between the two variables. This is called zero correlation. Generally, it is difficult to find zero correlation, but the correlations found may be close to zero. For example, negative 0 0.02 or positive 0 0.03. This indicates that no significant relationship exists between the two variables or that the variables are unrelated to each other. So this is the correlation method in psychological research. If you enjoyed watching this video, please share it with others and subscribe to this channel. As always, thanks for watching.